What's up with you guys? This is Kid Still City Meach coming back to y'all for a special video, y'all. Dude, after the ACC Championship video that I did with uh, Meach going against Clemson for the fourth time, everybody wanted to know how I did the um the bowl end zone. And dude, that's what I'm here for. I, I wanted to do it. Dude, I want y'all to know something right now. I'm not a techie person. I just learn really fast and say, okay, cool. And then in the process, ask certain questions. But this time, I was kind of messing around with it and I just figured out how to do certain things, y'all. So I'm going to show y'all how y'all could create your own bowl end zone. And it's important that y'all follow all of these steps, all right? If y'all can follow all of these steps, dude, y'all y'all will have a good time doing this. I would recommend that you guys have the Fonto app and the Superimposed app. Now, both of these ones, both of these apps that you guys are about to use are crucial. And, and the Discord app, too. Make sure y'all are in college football revamp or so. I mean, I don't think that that's a part of it, but I mean, you, you can still go for it. You know what I'm saying? But, dude, it's important that y'all have those three apps or two apps, Superimpose and Fonto. Because Superimpose and Fonto are the apps I use for editing my thumbnails. And it's crazy because some of y'all think that, oh, you just do it all on your laptop and everything and then do. No, I do everything from my phone. Yes, I record gameplay with a game capturer, but I I then put it on to my, uh, to my YouTube channel, privated that mess. Then I have to upload my own, my own video with lack of space in the process, editing, you know, edit those and then put, you know, certain music that I want to put on there and everything. So dude, it's a process on my phone. I, I do all this, but in the middle of messing around, I figured out how to make my own bolt end zones. So I'm going to show you how to do it right here. All right. All right, you guys. And this is how it's going to go for the rest of the way, man. So look, and I know some of y'all are wondering, wait, how did you do the throwback end zones though? Dude, this is literally how. The only difference is you're seeing how I'm doing, you know, regular end zones without doing that. So if you already didn't see, dude, I did like, you know, a word mark logo. I Googled it, found Oregon, was like, all right, cool. I'm gonna use that. And then as you can see, I'm finding different shades of green to, you know, that I feel like would be best to do. And then I go from there. But basically what I'm doing is I was using the Fonto app and then I used the superimpose. Um, I, would uh, I would press background. Background would basically just give me my same picture for the most part. And then when you actually get to it, I don't know what parts you guys are on. You will press, you know, or not press. You will edit it 2048 by 513. Now I went with those three or I went with those two numbers because I think it perfectly resembles an end zone, if y'all can see it. And I think some of y'all would most likely agree with me. Then I need to go to foreground now. Foreground's what I'm gonna put on, you know, on the background. Make sure y'all go to the end and you'll see the little magic wand thingy. If you don't see it, you can press whatever's on there and then you'll find a magic wand. Basically what that does is that basically just gets rid of any background. And it was, it, and it's so crazy because when I did it, I was so shocked because I didn't think it was going to be compatible like that. I thought it was just going to take the whole entire picture off, you know, but it left the font on there too. And basically the font that is on it right now for Oregon perfectly puts on there. And I was just like, wow, that was actually really simple. And at this point now, y'all should be seeing the rest of the bowl end zones. Now the rest of the bowl end zones, I did pretty much with ease. Just found, you know, simple ones and everything. And you know, I did that and all that jazz. And it basically just worked out perfectly fine, man. Um, Y'all should be seeing the Florida one, the Clemson one, the Panthers one, the Pitt Panthers. I did that Panthers one in yellow because I was sick of seeing it in blue. I don't know, I was, I was, I was being petty like that, all right? <laughs> Y'all should be seeing when I'm, you know, saving the pictures that I posted from my phone and I'm saving them onto my computer using the Discord app. And y'all should be seeing at some point me just having those completely on there. And you should see now how I actually converted the pictures to DDS now. And then right here, you guys, I'm officially gonna do Convertio or 
you know, something like this. But basically, this is the only place I could, you know, find that can help me get my uh, pictures into DDS. And DDS basically helps me use the, um, you know, use the AST editor, you know, for anything else. So I'm gonna put Florida right there. And then I'm gonna put DDS, boom, it's right there. I'm gonna add another file. And unfortunately, when it comes to these websites, they'll be like, oh, well, you can't, you can't use more than two. If so, you gotta pay extra, which is stupid. But you know, I'm not even gonna talk about that. Um, but yeah, and then I'm gonna put pit playoff too. You're gonna put this to DDS. And boom, I'm gonna press convert. It's gonna say, give us a minute. They're gonna do that. Boom. This is where they should be giving me download right about now. Yep. And now I could go press download. And I'm gonna press download for that too. I'm gonna press save for both of them. They're gonna be easy. And then I'm gonna go ahead, you know, and go to this one right over here. I just put in the Western Michigan one. So Western Michigan is going to face off against Pitt at some point. So yeah, man. All right, you guys. And as you can see, I have separate files for this, right? So what I'm about to do is I'm about to go into the um, downloads right here. You can see these are the ones that I just put in and everything, right? I'm gonna go ahead and delete this file because I wanted to, you know, switch this one out. But as you can see, these are the um, pictures and everything. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna go to the AST file um, editor right over, you know, right over here. Boom, we're gonna press that AST editor. Now I'm gonna show you how, you know, how to do this, right? So boom, we're officially in the AST editor. You gotta press the file open NCAA AST. Now, this is important, right? So right here, I have my CFP Bowen zones. I'm gonna press this. This is important because you need more than one MISC file right here because these help install the, um, the uh, Bowen zones but you also wanna do multiple ones and copy multiple ones before you do anything for the simple fact that you wanna keep, you know, a normal one. Cause if you don't keep a normal one, then you're just stuck with these, right? So I'm gonna press this. This is the file I wanna use for the bowl end zone. All right, for the college football bowl end zone. It's gonna load in and bam, we're officially in. Now here's the thing. In able to get to the bowl end zones, you wanna go to 1001. All right, so we're gonna scroll all the way down here. And when you hit 1001, this is where the bow end zone starts. So yeah, y'all see it right here. Boom, they'll give you a little picture too. So yeah, these are all the bow end zones and everything. And this is how you know I'm not lying to y'all, right? So this is my created one that I did for Arizona State. And they already have the picture in there. I saved that to everything because I wanted that as my bow end zone completely. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to find Clemson. Uh, 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 okay. Make sure you scroll down slowly because these go pretty fast. But, uh, 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 there they are. There's Clemson. So boom, I'm going to double click. It's going to give me replace or extract. You're going to press replace, boom. And then you're going to go to your downloads and you're going to go Clemson playoff. Now, if it says something like this, don't even, don't even stress out about it. You'll be fine, trust me. So boom, I'm gonna do that. So this is my actual bowl end zone that I did. I redid the little old Miami bowl end zone when they had the helmets. So I'm gonna double click, um, replace selected, um, and I'm gonna find playoff. So boom, that's how I know it's in there. Um, Oregon, double click, replace. We're gonna do that with organs. Yep, there we go. And this one already has one. This one already has one. So that was most likely Penn State and Pitt. So this one is Pitt right here. Pitt is number 1086, so boom. Now I'm gonna double click, replace, 
And then I'm gonna find pit playoff, boom. Just like that, I put in all the bowl end zones. Now, here's the important thing, right? So y'all see how I have this on a separate file. So boom, I'm gonna put file, save as, and because I have my USB in, I'm gonna go to my little file right here. NCAA, all right here. And we're gonna save it like this. Now it's gonna say overwrite. Yes, you wanna overwrite it. But remember, you used a different file to put those in and then put that file and copied it to this. So when you have your normal ones, it's best that before you do anything, you save those ones and you do a, you know, a copy, maybe one or two copies or so, just to make sure, just in case you wanna do some other stuff with it. And then when you don't wanna have it on there, you could just like put it back on there and yeah, basically just have the same thing that you did. So now I'm gonna turn on my PlayStation. It's gonna pop up any minute, but this is gonna say if you gotta wait for this to load, but when this stops loading, or when the green bar completely stops and everything's gone, then you'll be good. See, look, it's gonna start moving faster now. Boom. So now it's officially done. So you can just go ahead and click out of this. Boom. And now I'm gonna transfer from my phone to my game capture. And that's where we'll go right here. And I officially have my USB in and I already logged in the hen. So we're gonna to go to Multiman, all right? I'm gonna click select and start at the same time. So one, two, three, boom, now we're here. All right, so there's might be two different ones. Uh, I'm gonna double click this. And as I can see right here, this is the hard drive file. So I'm gonna go right here and then on this tab right here, this should be the USB file right here. So boom. And now look, today is the 28th and this is what I put on for this. So I'm gonna click circle, copy, and then I'm gonna go right here, circle, paste. And it's gonna overwrite it. And then boom, you press yes. And then you'll let it, um, just completely do it and it's gonna take, it's gonna be really, really simple. It's gonna be done basically right now. I'm gonna click R1, R1, R1 because I like this screen more than anything else. I don't know why. I take out my USB, now we're on a hard drive and then we're gonna go into NCAA football. And here we go. All right, so now we're gonna go into my dynasty. And for people in the Meech Jennings Road to Glory series, um, I can't play the playoff on this file right here, on this original, you know, screen right here. Cause um, unfortunately I put a team builder on there. I put the Liberty team builder on her. And that's how some of y'all seen the little Liberty, little scoreboard and everything. But no, they, they weren't supposed to be in. It basically messed up the whole entire thing and I couldn't do the playoff. So I had to redo it and put them, uh, you know, and put everybody on there. Basically, nothing got changed, you guys. Everything's basically the same. The only difference is the records. And on the other hand, that's that was determined by the CPU. So regardless, we'll, we're living. You know what I'm saying? So now, because I put everything on there, now we could go ahead, scroll down, see, this is my playoff game right here. Meech Jennings is going to take off against, um, you know, take off against Western Michigan. They're basically undefeated. You got Florida and Oregon. You got Nebraska, and Oklahoma, Michigan and Clemson. And those are the four uh, quarterfinal games. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show y'all, you know, what it actually looks like here, right? And here we go. See, now look, and now the end zones are officially in there like it was supposed to be. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you create your own bowl end zone. It's literally simple as that. Well, I can't say it's necessarily simple as that, but yeah, I, I figured that out by just messing around with the whole entire thing. And basically it just, you know, went from there. You know what I'm saying? Now you guys can see 
Florida has a blue end zone right here, and Oregon has the green end zone. They might still get their green end zones when, you know, the Pac-12 version comes out or whatever. But, yeah, you get the point. Boom. There it is, people. It's, it's crazy because when I finally did it, it was on the first try, and I was like, I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm like, no, nah, I'm not a genius, y'all. This is just basically how it works, man. So, yeah, looks like it's, it looks like it's supposed to be there. You know what I'm saying? And then for the Oregon one, here y'all go. This is, it looks like what it actually is because it is what it is, honestly. Y'all seen me create the end zone firsthand and now it's officially in the game right here. That's why I say it's important for y'all to uh, to make, you know, more than one MISC file right there because then you can have this and then when you're not, in the playoff or whatever you could still switch it out regardless so yeah man and just because man i'm gonna show y'all just you know a quick one right here so yeah you guys um let's do miami and then who else did i use um dang who else did i use in this no i think i, I think i put in pit yeah all right actually i'm bugging yeah of course i put in pit but um I just have them wear green and then I'll go right here and then we'll have them mess around and play for the, you know, national championship just because, you know what I'm saying? All right, here y'all go. See, look, it's like, it's perfectly fine. I probably should have put this in the, you know, in the dark or in, you know, at nighttime because I don't know. The pit, the pit one does look a little too yellow, but I don't know. I think that's just because of the sun, but who knows? So now we're in a national championship. And here's my created end zone right here. And then I'll run around for a little bit. Huh. Oh, I might mess around and take it. Screw it, right? <laughs> but yeah, man, there you go. Yep, and here y'all go. This is the little created Miami one I put in. And the only reason why I put it like this is because I know for a fact that Miami fans like this version of Miami better than what it looks like right now. But yeah, that's just me assuming. But yeah, and then here's Pitts. This one does look, you know, look a little bit too yellow, but I don't know. Like I said, it might just be, it might just be the, the sunlight just affecting it, but you know, you get the point. But anyways, you guys, that's all that's here for this video today, man. I hope you enjoyed it, y'all. Dude, I'm, I'm happy I got to show y'all this because I know some of y'all been waiting on something like this, you know what I'm saying? And I'm glad that I just get to, you know, make something different, you know, throw some throw something different to y'all you know what i'm saying i've been doing the um the basically the uh recreate history moments and everything depending on when you see this you might see three come out this coming week or so i don't know it depends on how i feel but i do already have some in the safe you know what i'm saying but uh like i said y'all make sure y'all hit that like button subscribe share this with your friends while you at it follow me on instagram twitter the og channel Links in the description will be down below, but until then, it is the Kid Still City Meach. I'm out.